Hey there, Improv Tipsters. Well, you wanted a guest improv tipper, and I got you a guest improv tipper, Mr. John Lear. Let me tell you a little bit about Mr. John Lear. When I first moved to Chicago years ago, I didn't know a ton of people, and someone turned me on to this improv show called uh, The Chris Hogan Show, which was a two-man long-form improv show. Now, I had just come from a college improv group where we were doing, we had, there's like six or eight or ten of us doing uh, short-form games and this sort of thing, so to see just two guys doing long-form literally blew my mind. It was something to write home about, and I did. I wrote a letter home to my friends, and I was like, this is the best improv show I've ever seen. It was literally something to write home about, and it is still to this day one of the absolute best and one of my favorite improv shows I've ever seen. Um, and John Lear is just a really hilarious, funny guy. He and and industrious. This guy works like mad. He co-created and starred in uh, Ten Items or Less for TBS. He co-created and starred in Jailbait for Crackle. He co-created and, and stars in currently uh, Quick Draw for Hulu, among his many other IMDb credits. We don't have a, a time to get into all that. Check him out. He works. And he knows about improvising on television. He has had a tremendous amount of success in this arena. So please, listen closely to his tip. Please, sit back, relax, and enjoy Mr. John Lear. Hi there. John Lear here with your improv tip of the day. Um, it's been a while since I have uh, been on stage uh, doing improv in a theater. Uh, so I thought uh, I would talk a little bit about uh, improv in front of the camera, which is, you know, essentially what uh, what I've been doing a lot of. Uh, our style is to write a really detailed script. It's so it's very detailed, but there's absolutely no dialogue in the script and uh, none of the actors see the script. So essentially you walk, a, a, come to the set, you get in a costume, get into makeup, come on the set and uh, my partner, Nancy, will, uh, you know, sort of lay out the bare minimum of what you need to know. And then you improvise for, like, long takes, like 15, 20-minute takes. And it's really uh, more about uh, getting yourself right inside of your head. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an exercise in mental health uh, because... Because you're not on, on stage, you don't have an audience who's laughing or responding or giving you any feedback. It's a camera crew who's supposed to be quiet. And because you're doing these long takes, you may walk off thinking, well, was there anything good in that at all? And it's important to realize that, look, when you get in the edit room, we're going to truncate this down to a 22-minute episode. So really, you know, we're only looking for little small pieces here that we can glue together. Uh, and in that respect, uh, it, it's a lot easier than uh, being on stage, which is one of the reasons I choose to do it. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Paul, thanks for having me on, and uh, good luck improvising out there, improvisers. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you would like to hear an improv tip about. And also, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links are in the description down below. Thanks.